Today, today I will discuss our new topic in PE for third quarter, which is Baseball is a game played with a bat. Here is the bat, a ball, and gloves between two teams of nine players. So meaning to say, in playing baseball, there are only two teams and each team has nine players. And it is being uh, played in on the field with four white bases laid out in a diamond. So this is how the playing ground of baseball looks like. So in, in this, uh, it is diamond shape and of course there are four white bases. The first base, second base, third base, and of course, the home plate. The team change positions as batters or the offense team and fielders or the defense team, exchanging places when three members of the batting team are put out. So, pag mayroong tatlong members na naput out dito sa offense team, that is the time na magpapalit na sila. Wherein, the fielders, sila naman ngayon yung batters. And at the same time, yung batters, sila naman yung magiging the fielders or the defense team. As batters, players try to hit the ball. Yan, ganyan. Dapat i-hit nila yung ball out of the reach of the fielding team. And after hitting the ball, the batter must make a complete circuit around the bases for a run. In order to what? In order to get the score, if this runner or batter reach the home plate. The team that scores the most runs in 9 innings or the times of bat wins the game. Baseball was introduced in the Philippines by the Americans in 1890. And originally, the game was established in the USA. And of course, by the mid-1850s, baseball became very popular, especially in New York's metropolitan area. And the game's introduction to the Philippines aided the American colonial government's assimilations. And of course, the goal is to eliminate local cockfighting. A more which is a more common pastime at the time through the introduction of the sport. So during that time na pinakilala tong sport tong baseball dito sa Pilipinas, mas marami or mas dumami na ang, ang mga nagkakaroon ng atensyon dito ng mga Pilipino sa local local cockfighting or sabong. And of course, they introduced baseball para ma-eliminate, para ma-lessen yung local cockfighting dito sa bansa. In response, local Filipinos established baseball clubs. So, naging maganda yung response ng mga Filipino sa baseball. Why? They even had these baseball clubs or organizations ng mga players ng baseball. Baseball was encouraged in the archipelago and it grew to be a popular sport in the country. Like what I said earlier, the introduction of baseball here in the Philippines became successful. Now, let us also know or study the basic skills in playing baseball. The first one skill or the first skill that we need to know in playing baseball is catching. And it is said here that catching properly not only prevents you from being injured, it also makes it easier for you to prepare to throw the ball. So, dito laging magkasama si catching and throwing. Yan. As you can see in the picture or in the in the GIF or in the video, short video, you need to have proper position. Why? In order for you to what? To avoid from being injured, first one. And the next one, in order for you to catch easily the ball that is being hit by the batter. And after mo makatch, dapat it throw. Okay? Throw mo kaagad because you need to to pass the ball to your teammates in order to avoid the the offense team to get the score or to run or to run to the base. Now catching and throwing are both basic defensive baseball skills. In a game, your ability to catch and throw fast helps you to throw a base runner attempting to advance to the next base. So, kailangan mabilis ka dito. Mabilis kang mag-catch at the same time, mabilis kang mag-throw. 
mag-draw ng ball doon sa teammate mo na nakabantay sa mga bases para hindi maka um, hindi makapunta doon yung offense team or yung runner. The next skill in playing baseball is throwing. And throwing is the most important basic skill needed for a good fielding player. So, sobrang mahalaga to yung throwing na to doon sa mga fielding player or doon sa mga defense team. The ability to throw accurately and quickly will make it hard for the opposition to score and advance runners. Having the right throwing technique will let you hit your targets with more consistency. So, dapat magkaroon ka ng technique, throwing te technique dito para mas ma-reach mo yung target mo. The third basic skill in playing baseball is fielding. A good team game makes it difficult for the opposition to score points and gives the pitcher. And it is important to practice the basic of fielding a ball hit along the ground and in the air. So, mayroon kasing dalawang pwedeng mapuntahan. Pag nahit na yung ball ng isang batter pwedeng sa ground, ayan, pwede rin sa air. So, dapat alert ka dito. Dapat focus yung attention mo dito para mas mabilis sa yung makuha yung bola na nahihit ng mga batter. A good fielder will always practice a specific play so they know exactly where to throw the ball during the game. Now the fourth skill in playing baseball is batting. Batting is the best part of the game. It is hard to hit a round ball with a round bat into a specified area of the ground. Now, if you want to become a baseball player, you need to practice this one in order to master this skill. The batter is only a split second to react. A good batter needs great hand and eye coordination, a fast reaction time, good technique, and confidence. So, sobrang bilis lang ng pangyayari dito. Kaya, kailangan mabilis ka, alert ka, focus, and of course, there must be hand and eye coordination. While your hand is is batting the ball, dapat alam din ng mata mo kung saan yung saan ka dapat saan mo, na saan mo dapat i-hit yung ball para mas mabilis. And of course, uh, dapat meron ka ditong good technique and confidence. The fifth basic skill in baseball is base running. Good base running is about being fast and smart. So, simple lang dito. Kailangan lang mabilis ka and kailangan lang a smart ka. Dapat nababantay mo din yung ball. Yan. Bilis lang. Pabilis. A strong and aggressive base running can put a lot of stress on the defensive team. Okay, it is important to know and understand the current game situa situation at all times. It includes the number outs and 5 the defensive team's fielding placement. And the goal is to move around the bases quickly and get the score. So, after mong tumakbo, pag nga na, nakarating ka as fast as you can dun sa home plate or dun sa fourth base, that is the time that you can get the score for your team. Now, for the last part of our lesson in baseball is the field of play and the equipment being used in playing baseball. The first one is the ground or the playing fields. The distance to the fence from the home plate along the foul lines. So this is how the playing grounds of baseball looks like. Official limits to the playing field should be at least 320 feet or 98 meters. And the distance from the home plate on the line through the second base to the center field fence, fence should be at least 400 feet or 121 meters. The distance to the stands or fence behind the home plate should be at least 60 feet or 18.3 meters but may be decreased along the foul lines in the outfield. Coaches' boxes are in foul, 
fold territory behind first and third base on deck circles where the next batter is waiting to bat or near the team benches. The playing field is usually covered in grass. So, dapat grass siya. Bakit kaya? Kasi, syempre, malaki ang chances na matutumba sila dito. Yan, sa pagtakbo nila, sa pag-catch nila. Kaya, kailangan grass para hindi sila masaktan o masugatan yung mga players natin. Except for the pitcher circle or mound, the base paths and the adjacent infield from the first third to third base and the home plate area. So, usually, grass po yung mga nakapaligid dyan. Kasi, gawa po ng klase ng laro natin. In some playing fields or stadiums, artificial turf or artificial grass is used. Next is the ball and the bat. The ball has a cork and rubber core tightly wrapped in a yarn. Ayan, ganyan po yung ng ball. It is covered with two fitted pieces of white leather sewn together. The circumference is 9 to 9.25 inches or 23 to 23.25 centimeter. And the weight is between 142 to 149 grams. The bat is smooth. Yung bat naman, smooth siya. Rounded stake of solid or laminated wood, not longer than 42 inches or 107 centimeter, or thicker at the bar end than 2.75 inches or 7 centimeter, tapering to the handle end. That's how the bat of baseball looks like. In the Major League Baseball, players prefer, prefer a bat no longer than 35 inches or 89 centimeter that weighs about 850 grams or less. Now, next is gloves. The glove should, should not measure more than 38 inches or 96.5 centimeter. In circumference and 15.5 inches, 39. or 39.4 cm from top to bottom. Usually, the players wear gloves at the left hand. Bakit sa left hand po uh, sinusuot yung gloves in baseball? Kasi yung left hand yung ginagamit nila sa pag-field or sa pagka-catch ng bola. While their right hand, they use their right hand para hawakan kasi hindi nila basta-basta nakuklose yung kamay nila dito. I-partner nila sa left hand and of course, it is very important na walang gloves na nakalagay sa right hand. Why? Because they use their right hand to throw the ball. Like what I said earlier, catching and throwing are always goes together. So, partner sila palagi. So, kailangan gagamitin mo lang yung left hand mo pang catch. And then, gagamitin mo naman yung right hand mo pang throw, especially if you are right-handed. Okay? The first baseman's glove is thinner and more flexible. A solid expanse of leather for the four fingers with a webbing connecting the thumb and index, index finger. All other players' gloves are fingers' gloves with leather, leather straps connecting the thumb and index finger. And form-fitting batting gloves designed to improve the grip are now used by most batters.